Hannah here and we're gonna be doing a DIY collab. So we're gonna be doing five holiday DIYs on each of our channels. There are 10 DIYs in total that you need to try for the holidays. So these DIYs are really simple to recreate and make your room look amazing for the holidays. Yes, so after you're done watching my video, don't forget to go check out Tana's video and subscribe to her channel. Woo! So yeah, we hope you guys enjoy the videos and we're gonna get started, yeah. For the first DIY, we're making these Starbucks string lights that are super cute. So you're going to need white Christmas lights, some Starbucks logo printouts, Mod Podge, a foam brush, a little mini red cups, and some scissors. So you start off by just cutting out the little mini logos. I just kind of Googled it and printed a ton. And then you add a layer of the Mod Podge on the back and then seal it with a layer on top. And it's cool because the cups are already red, but if you just get regular Dixie cups, you could always just spray paint them. So that's all you have to do and it dries in like an hour after that this part is a little bit tricky honestly I couldn't even tell you the best way to do this but just kind of poke a hole maybe using an exacto knife might be a little bit better but yeah just poke a hole in them and once you finally get a little bit of a hole cut out you just go ahead and take the light bulb and stick it through super simple repeat this process for all of the little cups and you have your new Starbucks string lights for this Christmas tree wall art, you're just going to need a piece of wood. I got this from Michael, some ornaments and a hot glue gun. Super simple, just take your mini ornaments and glue them onto the piece of wood in the shape of a Christmas tree. It's seriously that simple and because you're using hot glue, it dries instantly and you're all done with your new artwork. For these wooden snowflakes, you're going to need some wooden clothespins and a hot glue gun. They're super simple to make, so just go ahead and take apart the clothespins. They snap apart super easily, and you don't need the metal pieces. You can go ahead and throw those away. After that, you're going to flip them like on top of each other and just hot glue them together. And then after you've hot glued all of those pieces together, you want to make sure that the little riveted parts are facing on the outside. So glue the flat pieces together, if that makes sense. And then after that, you're just going to glue all of those together. And it takes eight of them, and it actually creates the cutest little wooden snowflake. And if you want, you can paint them, but I just decided to keep mine wood. This designer Christmas pillow you're just going to need a plaid pillow of your choice a piece of white felt a Chanel logo cut out and some double-sided tape or dress tape so for this all I did was cut out the Chanel logo basically all you're doing is creating a nice little stencil for yourself and then after that you're going to just trace it onto the felt super simple after you're done tracing it onto the felt go ahead and cut that out and then flip it over to the back once you're done and then we're going to be adding in the dress tape so just go ahead and layer it with tons of pieces of the dress tape and the purpose of the dress tape is so once the holidays are over you can have your pillow return back to normal so yeah it sticks on really nicely and that's what your new pillow looks like this is this cool little light up snow globe jar if you will for this you're going to need some cotton balls string lights some silver glitter you're going to need a giant mason jar some spray on snow and some hairspray so take your hairspray and spray the cotton balls and then just dip them in the glitter this is just going to make everything a little bit cooler and give it some sparkle to it and then after that you're going to take your mason jar and I just added a light layer of the spray on snow to the bottom of the jar just to make it look like it was dipped in snow after that you're gonna go ahead and take your string lights and just kind of shove them into the mason jar this is kind of tedious and takes a while but I promise you it will look really good and then after that I went ahead and placed the little snowballs just wherever I thought looked good in the little jar and then once you're done with that all you have to do is plug it in and it lights up it looks super cool so those all are all my holiday DIYs I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel Twitter and Instagram will be linked down below and last but not least do not forget to check out Tana's video make sure you subscribe to her Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!